Let's go exploring with Daniel Cook right here on the Veritable Quandary. Here we are, butterflies. This is Dan Daniel Cook learning about butterflies. I'm here with Leslie, and today he and Leslie is going to teach me about butterflies. Hi, Hi Daniel. Daniel. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. Look at all these butterflies! I just love this place. How many butterflies do you have here? We have over 2,000 butterflies flying, sometimes almost 3,000. Wow and half of them are raised here. And then half of them are imported from other countries in the world. Well, you get butterflies in the mail? Yes, we do get butterflies in the mail. Every week we get a shipment, a special shipment from different parts of the world. And inside there, it's not an adult butterfly, but it's actually a chrysalis, which is what the butterflies emerge from. Is cocoon and chrysalis the same thing? Well, they're pretty well the same thing. We usually say chrysalis when we talk about butterflies and cocoon when we talk about moths. You think I can help you raise some butterflies? Oh, absolutely, Daniel. How about if we first look around the conservatory? Okay. How big is the conservatory? The conservatory is 11,000 square feet. Wow. It's actually the largest glass enclosed conservatory in North America. Hey, what's this window for? This is our emergence window. This is where all the chrysalids are hung and all the shipments that we get in. We pin the chrysalids onto little pins. Can you see the pins? Yeah. Every chrysalis, when it hangs, the caterpillar actually makes a silken pad. And as it spins that silken pad, it attaches itself to the tree. And when we get them with the silken pad, we're able to put that pin right through that silken pad and hang them on the board. So it's like it's hanging from a tree in nature. Can you see the different colors of chrysalids here? These actually look a little bit like grapes, don't they? Yeah, they do. So I think when they Except hang... Except I wouldn't like to eat that grape. I think these guys are almost ready for release. Yeah, I think you're right. Hey, I've got a good idea. Why don't we go into the lab? And you can help me raise some of the butterflies, and then we can come out and we can release some. Okay, Daddy. Daniel, this is the laboratory. We're actually now on the other side of the emergence window. And this is where the, all the action takes place of raising caterpillars and eventually raising the butterflies. Wow. We've got a, one of the caterpillars in here. And if you look closely, you can see its head there. There's two. Yeah, and all these little... Um, sp almost like spines on it. They look like they're pointy, but they're actually really soft. So its um, defense mechanism is not only those spines, but it actually has an extra organ that comes out of its head. And if I pretended, or if you wanted to pretend that you're a bird, and if you just poke in and poke him and pretend you're going to go in and eat. See how it likes to rear up? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. That, that thing there. Have a smell of it. See if you can smell something different. It smell different? It smells like a leaf. That's smell is produced so that the predators won't want to eat it anymore. I think that it doesn't taste, doesn't smell very good, so it must not taste very good. Are those the chrysalids? That's right. Those are all the chrysalids. Now, like... Then those are the little pins. So if you want to find a chrysalid that you want to pin, and I'll find a pin for you. So there's actually butterflies in these? That's right. Every one of those is holding a butterfly. So if you want to take the pin, that's the end. Great, it's perfect. And that doesn't hurt it? No, it doesn't. As long as you put it through either the leaf part or the silk, it's going to emerge just fine. Good job. I think it's going to hold really well. Hey, I have a good idea. Can we put this tray into the to the emergence window and then, and then we can let some butterflies? Oh, that's a great yeah. idea. OK, guys, be patient. I'm going to put you in. What's the first thing we have to do to release them? To release them? Well, these doors actually open up. Yeah. But what I'd like you to do first is take one of these paint brushes. This is Danielle Cook, releasing butterflies. Because if we touch a butterfly, its scales will come off on our, on our fingers. We don't want that to happen. So to help some of these butterflies out, we can just gently do it with our paintbrush. And you know what? We can actually open these doors up. You can lift that one and just put the paintbrush underneath. Oh, look. There you exactly. Are. Very good. Oh, there he goes. Hey, good job. 
Hi, Mr. Butterfly. Hey, Mr. Butterfly. He was ready to go right away. <laughs> <laughs> I think he gave me a goodbye hug. How do I get this guy off? He's coming from the top. Hi, dude. Come on, get off. There you go. There you good go. Good job. There you go. There go. Very good. This is a lot of fun. Do you want to release the one? Can I do one? Sure. There it goes. There you go. You have the coolest job. Thanks. I think I do too. I got a really cool friend now. <laughs> friend for life. Thank you so much, Leslie, for teaching me about butterflies. Oh. I had a lot of fun. You're very welcome. Thanks so much for coming. Come back again soon, okay? I will. Great. This episode is over, but the very best of my collection is banned on YouTube. To see what you have been missing, go to archive.org and search for Gyro Screw Loose, and I'll see you there.